24 hour pho. 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 Is it pho or pho? Pho. You tell us in the comments if it's pho or pho. I like pho. I think Americans say pho. Pho. And we always say pho. Anyway. That's enough pho. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So we're on our first main bay in Ho Chi Minh. Um, Lord has designed our own little walking tour. So I believe we're going to the War Museum, which is the first stop. Um, but then I have no idea. I think we've got a palace in there, we've got a lunch spot, we've got a coffee stop. Yeah, she's been hard at work. And now, what are you doing? Counting loads of money. I, I don't have a clue what any of this money is. <laughs> so. It's quite confusing. It is, there's so many different notes. It goes from like a thousand, I think is the smallest one, up to like 500,000. So my purse is just a mess. The main <laughs> like... thing we worked out is that 30,000 dong is about one British pound. Yes. So I think that means that about 20,000 or 25,000 would be about one US dollar. Um, so yeah, and we, we get around it. we want to pay kind of under 200,000. For both of us. For a meal. For a a dinner, a lunch would be a lot less. So it's like less than three pounds per meal. Yes, that's right, the three pound thing. I think we're gonna be fine, because everywhere seems to be really cheap, um, which is awesome, because we're not used to that now. Cambodia was actually quite expensive. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go down and get some breakfast in our hotel, and then head off to the museum, which, um, yeah, I'm really interested to learn a bit more about that. So yeah, let's get going. So yesterday we had a problem with our electricity cutting out and then we come back after that amazing meal and this is what they've done to fix it. They put a chopstick in the key for power slot. So it's just on all the time. So I love how that's, that's how they fixed it. That's their solution. Put a chopstick in there. Love it. It's so funny. Let's go and eat. Yeah. This is mayhem. I don't like crossing the road here. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> I think I know where we're going. Well, Google Maps told us we've just got a SIM card. Cheapest one, by the way. Oh, it's like five pounds for 30 days and um, yeah you get two gig a day of data so that's the cheapest by far like that's a quarter of the price of the Cambodian one. That's nuts. So um, yeah happy days on that front. <laughs> but yeah we're going to the museum right? And I think, get my friend Google, yeah it's literally up and around over there somewhere so it's not far. I reckon we'll be there in 15 minutes. Pavements are roads, roads are roads. They tell you here Everywhere's to roads. be deliberate with your movements. Don't run across the road, don't start on anybody, and then they won't run you over. That all sounds good in theory, but so far, they're not afraid to run you over. I had to walk across the road like I was some sort of Jedi with the Force, just trying to stop cars. Yeah, you literally have to put your hand up and then they might stop. It seems might. the bikes, so the bikes, are more likely to stop than the cars. The yeah, cars aren't having scary. any of it. Yeah, the cars aren't having any of it, so. <laughs> that car flash. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put this away so we don't die. <laughs> that car flashed to let me go and then like didn't stop. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe it's flashing to say get out of the way. Yeah, I, I don't know how you're supposed to do it though. If you don't weave, you're not getting across the street. No. You're just not. You're so not getting across the street. Go for so you it. have to weave. But then they honk at you when you weave. So, don't really know. <laughs>
just finished going around the War Remnants Museum. Um, we were in there for a good, oh wow, a good couple hours, a few hours. Um, yeah, again, very difficult to go around and read everything and see all the pictures. And yeah, very, a very difficult few hours. But again, it's something that I'm glad we've seen. Um, yeah, we're just going to find somewhere to eat now. Um, kind of get our thoughts together and then carry on walking through the city really. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say other than that. Okay, so we found a uh, Vietnamese coffee shop. They all have this Highlands coffee. I think it's all like one big chain. A bit like Costa in the UK or Starbucks in America. <laughs> a Vietnam version. Yeah, two baguettes, two waters, two coffees. So you have like five pounds on the side. Winning. Yeah, it's right out here. It is. We just had a quick baguette and a coffee, um, and now we've popped back outside and we're walking past the Independence Palace. Uh, we're not going to go in because you've got to pay to go in, and uh, yeah, we yeah. can just see it from here. It's fine. <laughs> but it looks really gorgeous, and the front, the front looks very inviting. The, I kind of wish I could go in there. The gardens are massive. Like we walked yeah, around really them big. over the back, and like they're really, really nice. Really beautiful. Um, but we're actually going to head now to the Notre Dame Cathedral, which... Sounds yeah. like a good picture to take there. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> let's head there. So we found the Notre Dame building. Pretty awesome looking, but it seems to be closed, under construction or something. So um, yeah. yeah, we're going to find the next stop, I think, on Lorna's little walking tour. Yeah, it's in the middle of this crazy roundabout, and it's like it's almost like a game to get to it. Um, but yeah, no, it is. It is you... Yeah, you can't you can't get any closer to it really, which is a bit of a shame. But oh well, we'll just look at it from the outside and then move on to our next stop. <laughs> just turned a corner and it feels like we're in Beverly Hills. It does feel super posh. There's palm trees, there's shops like Versace, <laughs> like it is like manicured, like it is so nice. This is the most modern city we've been to in Asia so far. Yeah, I don't even know where we are, but it is nice and it is expensive looking. <laughs> <laughs> so Lorna, do you want a new career? That's, um, that's like extreme window seating. What's happening here? What's happening is we're having our fourth cup of coffee of the day. <laughs> but this place is really good and I think they even make their own coffee beans. Well, Russell. Them. You know what I mean. Yeah, they roast them. Let's go. <laughs>
Maggie milk and sugar. It was, I compare it to like when you have like a wine tasting or like a, you know, like a fancy craft beer type place. Yeah. Cup of coffee, so yeah, it's much coffee preferred. Coffee lovers <laughs> have to go there, but it's quite you know, hidden almost. Yeah, it's behind us there in that building. Yeah, right at the top. Yeah. And so it's that top floor you see. The workshop. It's called the workshop and yeah, it's awesome. You've got to go there if you like coffee. So now we're going to head back to our hotel. We're going to freshen up and find somewhere awesome for dinner that I think we're going to get some fun. Hopefully. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's what we're going to look for. So the next scene you'll see is probably us going for dinner. Yeah. All right, let's get going. <laughs> Okay, we found an awesome faux place not too far. Um, we hope it's awesome. It looks awesome, it's got good <laughs> reviews, it's really cheap again, we're talking like two pound a meal. Oh, I'm really hoping it's good. And we both haven't eaten loads today, so we're ready for a good dinner. Yes! Um, apparently it's a 24 hour restaurant, which is good because it's gone nine o'clock and most places close around here at like 10, so. 24 hour fuck. Fa. Fa. Is it fa or fo? Fa. Fa. You tell us fa. in the comments if it's fa or fo. I like fo. I think Americans say fa. And we always say fo. Anyway. That's fo, right? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Going on? But that's really loud. <laughs> and we can pretty much hear that from our room because the door does nothing. Yeah. It was loud last night, like all the way into the night. But not that loud. Not so, live music loud. Really hoping that actually dies down a little bit at least. Because <laughs> that's not cool. I literally just stopped talking and this came out. We ordered about 20 seconds ago. About 20 seconds ago. <laughs> and there's the... Uh... That's the quickest I've ever got to <laughs> So we've got a massive bowl of flour with all the chopped up. I think it's spring onions, noodles. Ah. Ah, thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've got onions, we've got beef, and then we've got bean sprouts, we've got loads of veggies on the side. It's yeah. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but this beef is like really nice, it's really rare. It's like yeah, it's awesome. It's like proper shredded or slices of steak. Mm -hmm. So tasty. <laughs> and you seem to be watching uh, music channels. Uh, we made it back to the room. <laughs> well. That was interesting. So that was a bit abrupt from dinner to here because, um, yeah, Google Maps. Oh this my is God. the third time it's done it to us. Oh. It's sent us down the sketchiest road ever. No, it wasn't sketchy, but it was like a it little maze of like back alleys where like people were just like local people, obviously, were sitting out in the streets with their families. like. It did not look like any foreigners went but down there. But it was there. getting darker and darker and skinnier and skinnier, uh -huh. like proper maze alleys. Yeah. And then we got to a bit and the woman said, no, no, no. And I was like, huh? 
and they basically barricaded the alleyway so we had to turn yeah, back and go all the way back out yeah but <sighs> literally we were going past people's houses with like their doors open and they were just like lying on the floor and doing all sorts of crazy stuff and cooking in the street like in the alleyway just chilling yeah, just chilling, yeah just, it's, it was actually quite cool if you take away the whole possible danger thing i don't think we were in any danger it felt very much like it just happened to be an alleyway that people lived down yeah like, it didn't feel sketchy it was like women and their kids and stuff like it wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. sketchy if anything the main road is worse it was a bit sketchy on the road the main road is mental but yeah we put a camera away and just worked out yeah. how to get out of there and yeah we went down crazy road this road that we showed you in yesterday's video should have been yeah um, it's just nuts the later it gets it is so loud i cannot even explain it's, it's like, like full-on co-sound put road your vibes. head into a speaker loud like <laughs> and blare it at max volume what's that called boo vn or boo vn yeah probably boo vn boo vn yeah walking walking street. street and it's not it's crazy street by the way there's cars and everything <laughs> but yeah it's crazy but it's not we're kind of at the end of the walking street in the hotel so i mean it's quite loud but it's nothing like that no but we made it back Thank goodness we're in our room we can still hear stuff but we'll get we slept through it last night so i'm yeah. sure we'll sleep through it again and we're knackered because we've done loads of walking today yeah um, seventeen thousand steps doesn't sound like a lot no it doesn't but it it was like it all day like that we were walking yeah, it felt like a lot <laughs> anyway we will say good night and we will see you in the next video bye bye, bye. I'm studying my new moves.